It's October and a great time to get your slow cooker out and do a little cooking with beef. Here to give us some great recipes, Angie Horkin from the Beef Council. Good morning. Good morning. Now, Angie, this is something that smells fabulous, but you've got a couple different ideas using different cuts of beef. What do we have here? I do, and this cut actually is a non-traditional slow cooker mm -hmm. cut but it works perfectly in this recipe because we're not gonna slow cook it all day. It's only a four hour um, low oh, okay. slow cooker, so it's perfect for like a half a day. And we used a flank steak. We got slow cooker broccoli beef, um, and it smells and tastes just like it would when you're going out to eat uh -huh. for a broccoli beef meal. Kind of an Asian influence. Definitely. So I just started with a bed of rice, and then in the slow cooker, I sliced one flank steak, and I sliced it across the grain, and then cut it into about two to three inch pieces. And then we add with that soy sauce, uh, brown sugar, mm -hmm. some sesame oil, garlic, mm -hmm. some red uh, crushed pepper. And then you set that for four hours on high, or excuse me, on low, or two hours on high. Okay. And then about 30 minutes before it's going to be done, you add your broccoli, and I used fresh broccoli florets. Oh. And that is it, and it smells and tastes delicious. And delicious. so the meat just broke up on its own. Exactly, and the okay. meat is super, super tender. Oh, wonderful. Second recipe, these are fun, and these would be great this time of year for a game day party. Mm -hmm. um, they're hot Italian beef sandwiches, and we made them in the slow cooker. So this cooks all day, and it uses a chuck roast, so one of the most popular cuts for the slow cooker. I used a, a large chuck roast, a three-pound boneless chuck roast, and I did take the extra time to brown it first. Because that gives it a little more flavor, it right? It does, it does. So take your saute pan and put a little bit of oil mm -hmm. in it, get it really hot, almost to the smoking point, put your chuck roast in, and let it sear for about a minute. Don't move it. Oh, and then okay. it'll form that crust. And then flip it over, sear the other side. And do that first, and then salt and pepper it. And then I actually used a little bit of Italian seasoning mm -hmm. on it. And then put your chuck roast into your slow cooker on top of a jar of jardinier mm -hmm. and some pepperoncini peppers with a little bit of the, the juice, juice from them. So they'll give it a nice spicy hot flavor. And then I deglaze the pan that I browned the chuck uh -huh. roast with um, red wine. Ooh. So half a cup of red wine and then put that in the slow cooker. Now this cooks on low all day. So eight to seven to eight hours. So you could even do this overnight if your game day is like at noon. Definitely, or so. definitely. Or do it overnight and then um, put it in the refrigerator the next day and then just reheat it for an hour or two if you need to or if you're going to a specific location. And it's got the vegetables right in it, it's ready to go. So you've got a whole meal right there. Right in it. And then you could top it with some shredded cheese. So mozzarella? Mozzarella. Yeah, so hot Italian beef sandwiches in the slow cooker. All right, well, all of these uh, recipes available on our website and also at beeftips.com. Click on As Seen on TV and you'll find these recipes. And we also have a link to all of our slow cooker crop pot recipes on the homepage. So try more than one, that's for sure. Thanks, Angie.